work its way uh, out of uh, the system, in part because the concerns that the United States are raising uh, are not transactional in nature. They're systemic. Uh, and I think there was this misimpression in the marketplace you know, a year and a half ago when uh, President Trump was elected that because, quote, he was a businessman uh, and does deals, that he would be, you know, transactional in nature such that uh, as long as the Chinese government, you know, perhaps agreed to certain additional market access commitments uh, and perhaps bought additional U.S. product, that would be sufficient uh, for the president in kind of resolving his trade concerns. That, you know, always struck me as wrong uh, and continues to strike me as wrong um, because, you know, I think the concerns that he is uh, pointing to are concerns that have been bubbling up in the U.S.-China trade relationship over the past, you know, all close to 20 years at this point. Uh, and so there's been, I think, a breakdown in trust, uh, and, you know, in, in both sides, uh, and a perception certainly in the United States that commitments that have were made repeatedly have not been you know fulfilled uh, and so given that you know to the extent that there need there are two a number of things need to happen one uh, given the breakdown in trust there needs to be in my opinion a series of confidence building measures which in many ways makes it very hard in my mind to see some sort of grand bargain being struck by both sides in the short term. And now you can have a series of bargains, um, but the hard part is less the agreement and more the implementation uh, and monitoring, right? Because uh, in as much as is, you know, trade negotiations and agreements are excruciatingly difficult to negotiate, in the front end, they're even harder to implement. Uh, and I think the U.S. experience with China shows that. And so to the extent that there's going to be an agreement, whatever the terms and conditions of those agreements, you know, are, there will have to be significant, you know, monitoring, implementation, and enforcement uh, components to that uh, that the United States is going to demand, right? Otherwise, it's just, in, in the United States' opinion, words on a page, uh, right, um, which really don't mean anything with absent implementation. So because there is going to be that implementation and monitoring piece, it means that this is going to continue, you know, for a, you know, potentially indefinite period of time. And I don't think, you know, I think there's also this perception that um, because this is, uh, you know, this is merely a product of the Trump administration and his unique view of China. That's also not the case. Um, look, I think both Democrats and Republicans share uh, the concerns that have been raised. They might differ in terms of the nature and the degree in which the United States is approaching, um, you know, uh, the relationship with China. But I don't think there's any disagreement that there are there is significant problems and these problems need to be resolved. So uh, if people, I think there's also, which is to say that to the extent that there is a feeling either in the marketplace or in the government space, that this is an issue that, that quote, can simply be, you know, weighted out until there is a change, you know, potentially a, a change in, you know, uh, government in the United States in 2020. That, I think, is also a mistake uh, because, like I say, these issues are ones that are, in fact, structural uh, in nature. Uh, and so it, it's not really going to matter who is in power. Um, these are issues are going to continue to be at the forefront. And so um, a lot of work needs to happen between now and you know, the next few years in order to put things right. I mean, I do think that we're in kind of a very – you know, um, a fraught period right now in terms of the relationship between both sides. Um, both sides, I think, believe the ball is in the other's court uh, in terms of issuing some sort of proposal uh, as to mm -hmm. how to proceed, right? I think the Chinese side is basically, you know, uh, said, 
look, you know, just tell us what you want.